Hello Virgo, thank you for joining me today. Um, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. This reading is going to look at the energies between the 13th to the 19th of July, um, or round about that, if you think of those dates in a, an expanding bubble. So it's any time around that and a little bit beyond it. But whenever you watch this reading, um, Virgo is the right time for you. Um, I have done a pre-shuffle of the Psychic Tarot. So I'll just do a final shuffle now and we'll see what the universal energies um, want to say to you. Okay. Just to mention to you that um, Mercury is, is going to go um, is going forward now after a month or so of being um, retrograde. Uh, so that's probably a relief for many people, uh, especially when they've been experiencing delays, perhaps with contracts, agreements, or um, even just travel plans. Um, and also miscommunications can happen when uh, Mercury is going retrograde. But um, it's the, from around about, probably a few days earlier it started, um, to, to start to go forward motion. Um, and certainly round about now it's, it is it is starting to go forward it is going forward um, so that's good news for many for many people uh, this is the wheel of the year tarot little tarot deck just to give a little bit of depth and clarification to the reading for you at this time Virgo so let's have a little look at the um, heart of the reading, the heart of your reading. I, I just hesitate because this card has come out such a lot at the heart of um, different uh, sign, star sign readings today. Um, and then emotional loss of some sort. Um, and yes, we've got a double. It's the two fives lot. Then it's the, the five of cups. Um, five of chalices in this deck, Wheel of the Year Tarot. And it's the five of um, the cups, uh, the five of the heart part of the deck. Uh, and there, so you've got two. So Virgo, there's something about an emotional loss, uh, a feeling of uh, being emotional, feeling um, that um, something has, has, has been lost. Um, uh, for some of you, it, you, you, you will feel that it's starting to dissipate now. You can see as um, the, the pain, the loss is starting to curl round on, um, from this figure. He's giving it away to the universe. So he's sort of trying to deal with it and try to heal it. And um, for others of you, you're sort of smack banging in this for some reason. Um, and then with the five of chalices, the five of cups here, you can see the young woman looking at all the cups that have, have fallen over. So she, there's, there's a real shock here, a, a sense of, of, of shock and disbelief, if you like, and sadness about something um, that's affecting her emotions. All right, so sorry about this, Virgo, whatever it is. I mean, it won't resonate with all of you, the Virgo. Some, it won't have meaning for all of you. If it doesn't have meaning for you, that's fine. But it will for some of you. And the challenge is that this, you've got a raised awareness about something, and perhaps that's what's led on to the emotional loss. So you see um, the magician's head is... is uh, uh, is, is crown chakra is on fire there and it's connected to the universal energies so he has a real awareness about something um, and the clarifier here is the princess of pentacles and this is this is my accountant card and the princess is writing in her ledger and she's balancing the books she's counting the money um, what's coming in, what's going out. So this is about balancing the books of some sort. could be to do with money and income, but it could be to do with anything. Um, but the Princess of Pentacles, I mean, Pentacles are about um, income, career, earnings, money, um, practical, very practical, earth, earthly matters. Um, 
but it, but take type resonates with you, Virgo. But this is something to do with having to balance the books and a raised awareness about something. And these are the challenges um, for you at this time. And I feel that it's in connection with the emotional loss, a, a feeling of having lost something. Now, in your power position here, we have the. Um, this is number four from the same uh, deck, from the heart part of the deck. Um, and this is this says about discontent and boredom and the Queen of Swords. So this is something about um, not not feeling not. Sometimes it's about an energy of your glass being half empty rather than half full. You see the wealthy man is, is, in, is in a palace, but he's been looking across the balcony and, and um, quite envious about the, <clears throat> the palace across the way and the countryside and wishing he was there, if you were like, perhaps feeling hemmed in. And this could be something to do with this COVID-19 situation where we've been stuck in, haven't we? Um, looking out, wanting to go travelling, wanting to go here and there, um, but but being stuck in, being okay, you know, having what we need uh, for for some of us, um, for some of you, um, but for others, uh, perhaps not, you know. But but there's this energy of just being fed up, really, and just fed up with everything. Um, but this is in your power position, so uh, it's perhaps within your power to to look at that um, and to uh, acknowledge it for what it is, that it's not going to last. These energies don't last forever. Um, in, in, in perhaps a few days or a week or so, this sort of energy will be gone. So it's within your power to look at it for what it is and to deal with it, really, and to move on from it. Now, a clarify, we have the Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, um, she is a, a, a deep thinker. She likes truth and clarity. She will cut away that which is no not meaningful for her, which is not purposeful and is not truthful. Um, in this particular day, you can see her face. This particular Queen doesn't take any prisoners. All right, you know, you've, you, you've got to be spot on. You've got to be right with her. Um, and um, all right, very much swords are very much of the mind, very much about communication. But the Queen of Swords in this deck um, can be quite ruthless, if I can say that. Um, so I don't know if this is an energy around you, Virgo, um, if you know somebody like this. Um, or is this part of your energy, Virgo? And this is part of your energy, and that's why the current situation is leaving you feeling quite restless and, and fed up. Okay. And then what's in your, there's something else in your power. This is about this, this new love, a new love beginning, the Ace of Cups in Ordinary Tarot. And you can see the two people holding the cup and the water's falling in. This is about emotions uh, and love. Now, this could be about a new love. Um, beginning um, or this could be about a, a current love that is going to get deeper um, and for some others of you this is about you um, coming together within yourself and, and starting to love and appreciate yourself more and for some others of you this could be about a spiritual connection as well I'm just drawn to the rainbow there the rainbow colours up in the heaven and reflecting down in the water um, and then we have the two of wands, which is about seeds that have been planted and planning um, are now starting to grow. Um, so whatever seeds have been planted uh, that are meaningful for you, they're starting to grow now. So there is plans, those good plans put into place um, are starting to bear fruit, if you like, starting to grow. And that's and then we've got two people here that have been working together um, to, to get this. Um, this plant growing to get this growing and I feel this has contributed um, to this new love whatever that means this new love beginning or a current love go getting deeper it can mean something different for all of you Virgo and for, and for some of you it perhaps won't have a meaning um, now 
Um, the outcome is patience, so the major arcana. So this is about waiting for something to grow. So the seed that's been planted there, uh, we see, uh, and the plant, the seed starting to grow there. Um, and this is about being patient, waiting for it to grow even more. Okay. Um, and then the six of swords, which is about pushing the boat out and finding a new path forward, finding a new way forward. Sometimes it's about leaving something behind, um, something that's not been working perhaps. But, but it, for others of you, this is about um, just finding a new way forward, going on a new journey um, and just being patient, waiting for the opportunity um, for um, this, this new journey, finding a new way forward, a new path forward. Uh, going on an adventure perhaps this could be about going on an adventure and going across the water it could be um but just be a little bit patient for a little bit longer and then something else that um the universe wants to say to you is harmony so um we've already had the love beginning haven't we and working together for something to grow um and here we have harmony so this is from the Major Arcana. Um, this is uh, a twin flame card. This is um, uh, a couple very much in love. And you see the, the man's heart chakra is shining beautifully, shining green, very much, very much in love, very uh, adoring his partner. Um, and so this is about achieving harmony. And this is, this is, this is coming in for you. This is what the universe wants to say to you is whatever um has been happening whatever this emotional loss is this is the heart of your reading and the discontent and boredom um just be patient remember the patient uh, you know as you are finding a new way forward as things are growing as you're working with somebody that harmony is going to deepen it is you are it things are going to become more harmonious for you virgo and look, we've got the chariot card, and this is about going forward uh, or getting ready to go forward. There you are holding your sunflower up, look, shining a light going forward. Everything's ready um, to go, to go off on perhaps an adventure or together, go on holiday, or just go forward in your life together. But there we've got the two horses here, the white and the black one, and, and that can represent what you know and perhaps something little bit that you don't know. Um, and, we, and there's always things that we don't know, isn't there? Um, so uh, the chariot is getting you getting ready to go on, to go off on your journey together. So that's really lovely. Um, I'm just going to ask for a little bit more um, clarity for you from the Earth Magic cards. Could we have a little bit more information, please? A bit more clarity for Virgo for this reading, 13th to the 19th of July or thereabouts. And I'll just take two cards, one from the top and one from the bottom. See what they have to say. Okay, so what we have is um, karma. And so this is about DNA. This is about um, what we've inherited from our forefathers. Um, this imprinted in our, in our DNA. And, and, and this suggests that there's a karmic situation playing out. So from a previous lifetime, perhaps people that you're with at this time, uh, that you're involved with, that you've been involved with in previous lifetimes. So, you know, there's this karmic situation that's playing out now. It's, it's part of your DNAs. Uh, it's meant to happen. And we've got the clouds, which is the shape shifting, which is when we have to adjust shape, change shape according to circumstances, according to which way the wind is blowing. Um, so something to do with this, your karma, karmic relationship, um, having to uh, change and adjust and, and, and shape shift um, because of different 
you know, because the wind keeps changing and the wind keeps blowing. Um, but you'll probably have an understanding um, of what that means, Virgo. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you have. Um, please um, press the like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate that. And um, uh, thank you so much for joining me today, Virgo. Good luck going forward. Please join, my, join me again in the future. Take care now. Bye-bye.